Hey, welcome to Kate Crafts. I'm Kate. Today I would like to share with you a card inspired by a recent giveaway I had shared over on my Instagram page. Let's get started. To kick things off, I'm going to be using some Distress Oxides in Twisted Citron, Salty Ocean, Wilted Violet, and Black Soot. So I've taken the Twisted Citron and created a blob. Now I'm going to take some of the Salty Ocean and create another blob over here, and then another blob over here. And I'm not being careful about the blending as I join the blobs together because this is kind of going to be a mess. And when I was making this mess, it was kind of like, okay, so I think this is how it's done. We're going to try it and see how it goes. So as I'm creating this, I'm thinking, uh, I'm not 100% sure. So I bring in some wilted violet, and I'm still not 100% sure what I'm doing here. And I know I just have to trust it, because I watched a few different videos and looked at some different cards, uh, you know, not too long ago, and I thought, oh, you know, it might be fine to, or it should, I should say, it might be fun to try and make, like, a galaxy background, uh, as I've never really, I guess, made one before. So once I've gone in with my three bright colors, I'm going to take some of the black soot, and I'm going to go around the borders of each color where they touch. And I'm not too particular or too fussy about how this happens, because this is all going to get a little muddy. And it doesn't look really nice right now, but once it kind of settles into itself and the colors kind of relax a little and this will fade just a bit. So it'll give it more of a little bit of a softer look to it. Like at this point, I'm kind of thinking like, oh, this kind of looks like garbage. <laughs> I honestly thought this process that I was doing looked like garbage. So I'm working with the colors here and trying to blend them in and not totally contaminate my oxide inks here, but I just, I, I, I didn't trust myself with this and I didn't trust what I was doing, but I just kept motoring on and I just thought this looked god awful. <laughs> to be honest with you, I just, I thought this looked awful. <laughs> so I, th I think it's just because it's, it's very chaotic to me and it, doesn't hold the type of order I require. So I set that off to the side and now we're going to take the year 11 stamp set um, that I have here and we're going to add in some of Out of This World, I think it is. Yes, these are the planets from Out of This World. I, I had to double check my notes. So I'm just picking out a couple of the ones that I think I really like or that will kind of go along with what I've got going on here. And once I've picked them out, I will stamp them off and then we're going to get into some coloring. So I went through my Copics and tried to pick two of each color. We're not going to go overboard with blending because these images are small. But I wanted to have the same bright colors in the planets that I'll be using on the cards that match the galaxy background. You know what I mean? So I've picked up some YG-13, some G-14, and then we've got the B-2, the BG-45, the V-15, and the V-17. Um, I found that the BG-45 and the B-2 and then the YG and the G if you were blending them out in bigger areas, you might have to work with those ones a little bit more to get a better consistency with the blend. Um, you can kind of see between the two here, at least I see it, but um, if you were to blend in bigger areas, you would probably have to work it a little bit more because, but because these things are so small that it's not really like a big notice, I think, so. Once I've gone ahead and colored those in, I'm going to make a mess. Now, I kind of regret doing the way I did. I wish I would have just sprayed it. But I just flicked a bunch of water off of my hand. And then I'm just patting it dry. And I kind of don't like that big blotch. But I think it looks neat because it's nice and bright and blue. So we've got the sentiment from the Year 11 stamp set that says, Sorry, I missed your birthday. 
And we are going to do some partial die cutting because I didn't have a long enough banner to do this. So what I've done is I've placed my top cutting plate up to where I don't want it to cut. So it cuts partially. And then that way I can take this banner die and slide it over and cut it again so I have an extended banner. And that's, I did the same process. So it looks like I've got one long banner here and then I can cut it down. So I have roughly an idea of where I want to place the planets, and I kind of screwed up putting this down. You'll see in a minute. I wasn't necessarily paying attention to where I was gluing this. I got glue all over the place because it was a full bottle, and I had to wipe some off with my finger and a paper towel. So I try to line it up on my mat here and I'm not paying attention to where I've lined it up and then I mash it down and then realize oh shoot there we go messing everything up again luckily I was able to shift that over just a smidge and kind of cover up my faux pas and then we'll add in a little bit of the glue as you can see it's kind of goopy because I just filled it and we're going to cover up that space and then I'll go ahead and glue everybody else down off camera. And I ended up placing that guy up there because I thought he balanced out a little bit better. So I'll pick up some of that little excess glue. And then we are going to snip off the extra bit of banner there. So sorry, Mr. Birthday. So I've got a Sakura white jelly roll pen in the 8, and I'm just doing a little bit of a line and dot and dash kind of thing. And I, I, I kind of struggle with these pens now. I don't know if it's because they're, gosh, over a year old and I don't use them as much, but I don't find they write as smooth anymore. Like, I clean off the tips and stuff, but I just I find that they don't really work very well for me. And uh, I don't get a consistent ink flow, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong with them. Do you guys have this problem with your jelly roll pens? Or have you found a better like white gel pen to use? What is your favorite gel pen to use when you're when you're making cards? I would like to know in the comments below if you could. You know, maybe you're using something that I'm not that, you know, I could probably give a go, so what I've done here is I've just taken some white pigment uh, Craftsmart ink. I think Craftsmart is like a Michaels brand, and I had it in my stash, and it's the only white um, pigment ink I have. So I was able to add a little bit of water to make it almost like a paint, because I wasn't sure where I put all my acrylic paints. I, I think they made it into the basement for um, an art project. And I don't think they ever came back upstairs. So I just decided to use what I had on my desk. So I've gone ahead and made some stars. And now I'm just taking, uh, making a bunch of dots with this stupid paintbrush. I can't stress enough. If you're going to clean your paintbrushes, make sure you clean them right. And while they're still wet, bring the point in on the thing, on the, on the brush. Because otherwise it just kind of goes all fuzzy like that. So here I've taken... A Sakura Stardust pen, Stardust pen, sorry, and I'm creating more little stars to add a little bit more interest to the background. That way it gives it a little bit of a sparkle and a shimmer when you move it, and it's not just bland. So I kind of like how the background is now with the water splotches and all the, the coloring on it, so... I adhered the Gotta Have Gingham paper to a four and a quarter by five and a half card base, and then I've added some foam squares to the back of the card panel. Now, if you haven't gone over to my Instagram page, I am running a giveaway where you have a chance to win the Year 11 stamp set, a couple of sheets of the Gotta Have Gingham, as well as a mini notebook two pack from Lawn Fawn. And uh, that's running, I think, until April 1st, 2023. So if you haven't entered yet, head over to my Instagram page where you have a chance to win. I'll make sure to leave a link to the giveaway in the description box below if you'd like to enter. And once I've added some high supply diamond clear jewels, my card is complete. And I had to add this to the inside, of course, because it is a funny stamp set. And as always, 
Thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.